Thanks for checking out my short video. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of a new tripod I just purchased. This tripod is going to be uh, used to photograph uh, various RVs, uh, various landscapes and infrastructure, uh, the usual stuff that I like to photograph. So uh, check it out. It's coming up in just one second. I'm going to start the uh, unboxing by just opening up a package here. Uh, have my trusty old knife. I ordered this uh, tri uh, tripod, this Benro tripod, uh, because my other tripods are either too big or too small. I have tiny tripods. I have gigantic tripods, I have monopods, what don't I have? I've had tripods since I was 11 years old and that was back in uh, 1963. That's when I purchased my first tripod when I was a little kid. Bought it from the San Jose flea market. So let's see how uh, Sammy's camera packages this. Quite a bit of peanuts. Yes, we have a lot of peanuts. Let me get a, try to lift this camera without making too big a mess. There we are. Let me put it to the side. Move the peanuts, inedible peanuts. And this is what I got. It's the Benro FTA-29CV1. Here I am tossing the tripod just to make sure everything's uh, settled. Yeah, I'm just making that up, by the way. You don't have to do that. <laughs> there it is, the Benro Travel Angel. And yeah, I'm going to show you the label for the millionth time. Here it goes again. Come on, show it. FTA29CV1. Carbon fiber tripod. Very nice. FTA 29 CV1. Not the CVO, which is a little bit smaller. I was thinking about getting that. It's more compact, lighter. But I said, hey, I want something for the you know, next four, five, six years that it's a little bit durable. But I can, that'll last a bit. And uh, I'm not necessarily going to take this backpacking. I have one that I can take backpacking. My Manfrotto, I have a little thin one, a little wobbly Manfrotto that's perfect for uh, backpacking. Doesn't weigh anything. So here's the shoulder strap. It has a little webbing in the back where you can put stuff, important stuff. And this other side here is uh, the spikes. You have three spikes, uh, a hex key, and uh, the manual. So you may be wondering why is Jesus Garza's voice changed? Oh, my mic went on the fritz for a second here, so I had to do this. I'm doing a voiceover now. So here's the short column, and um, there's the uh, wrist strap right there that just fell down. There's a short column, so you can take uh, photographs low, low down. So let's see what's inside here. A bag within a bag, the Benro. Very nice. I'm, not gonna, I, I, I'm gonna put this bag somewhere else. I'm not gonna use it. Uh, I think it's redundant having a bag in a bag. It's double bagged. It's a very nice carbon fiber tripod. It's a good size. I think I can handle it for the next four or five years until I get too feeble to handle it. But right now I can handle it. All the little joints on this sucker, sucker are the little, next to the spider there are pretty stiff. So it's gonna take a little getting used to. So I'm really excited about using this should handle my cameras very, very nicely. Here I have the uh, Manfrotto all set up. Looks quite nice, huh? Carbon fiber, solid aluminum, cast aluminum, very nice uh, legs. And of course you can set these legs out quite a ways by just grabbing this right here, twisting, just like uh, Gitzos and other brands have done for you know, almost 100 years. 
seams, and then that's it. And then you just loop, get it back in its place. You just uh, go like that and tighten it up. And there it is. Some people complain that uh, this is, you know, one, one of these things gets loose, it sort of goes up and down, and you might have to readjust everything, and it doesn't, you know, it just doesn't, you know, work for them. But uh, I also have uh, Manfrotto uh, tripods that have clips. And uh, when they have the clips, sometimes you don't clip them all away, so you have the same issues. You have the same issues. Uh, so they also, you know, go in and out. And you get an unlevel tripod. But again, those issues can be handled and taken care of if you know what you're doing. If you take the time to do it right. Some people don't take the time. So these legs are very nice. This is definitely a sturdy tripod. I have another smaller uh, Manfrotto, which I'm shooting the video with, uh, that I use for backpacking. It doesn't weigh anything. It weighs about a pound and a half. It's incredibly flimsy and light. It's great for you know shooting with my Lumix GH5 and stuff like that. And uh, it works perfectly with that camera because it's very light. It's not a heavy camera like, like my Nikon D800. My Nikon D800 will go on this one better. And I'm shooting landscapes, you know, shooting buildings, infrastructure, documenting. I do a lot of documentary photography and photographs of, of, uh, of uh, RVs and camping and stuff like that. In fact, uh, you know, that's, that's what I do for a living. So this also has a center post, which you can replace with a smaller one. It goes up and goes down. Isn't that amazing? And of course, you can replace this uh, ball head at any time and replace it with another head if you wish. Uh, here's the lock. It locks it in place. I mean, this locks its head to there, down there. And this is the thing I had to learn how to do. It's something I'm not familiar with. So, you know, you have to pull this out all the way to use Zarka Swiss plate. I'm, uh, I've never had a tripod with an Arca Swiss plate, even though that Arca Swiss has been around since the, uh, you know, 80s, 90s, 70s and you know, forever it seems. And this adjusts the ball. And uh, let me move this around. And I use this to, so the pan. And this adjusts, you know, the movement here. And this adjusts the amount of friction you want for this. You can have it very taut, so it's very t tight. Or you can have it very loose, so. It's very simple. Ball heads are for dummies like me, and I can do it with no problem. And it's very nice. So, I think that's it. What else can I talk about with this uh, tripod? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely a little heavier than most uh, backpacking tripods. I wouldn't call it a backpacking tripod unless you're carrying a, a big camera like a, a Nikon uh, you know, D850 uh, or you know, a Hasselblad or even like right over here, a 4x5. This is a vintage one. This one's this is old. This is from the this is from the early 50s, uh, 4x5, 5x7 camera. But uh, you know something big. This is can handle it. Can handle a lot of weight, as I mentioned earlier at the start. So thank you very much for checking my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, feel free to comment. You know, uh, friendly comments are always appreciated. Even the bad ones. I've uh, responded to some bad ones, but uh, you know they make me laugh because you know they're taking me too too seriously this is only a hobby this is my what I do now in my retirement I I no longer teach photography classes I no longer teach at the university I no longer have a photo studio I just have fun so gracias adios bye bye